welcome back audience so we really left off we're just trying to find our way through and find the people that got kidnapped off the ship and find out what they wanted with the ship and what Passos and Marcella were doing behind my back you stupid sons of bitches oh my god there's stairs up here I'm just a badass I'm just gonna run shit through the wall 25 enemies toppled to death. What did I shoot someone through the wall? Mm. I just want to find a gold gun. That thing on the wall said one way was to the toilets and one way was to enemies. Ironically, so I turned that way. Alright, come on, there has there to be no a... Avoiding it. I had to clean house. There has to be a part of a gold guy in here, it just looks like a place. Oh shit. Oh what? I blocked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. What the fuck? I hate when that happens. You need your head now. Blood. Shit. It's a massacre. Well, she's dead with a bullet through her head, so no point finding her now. So you knew about this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. And we're back. Like Daphne Bernstein, something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor friendly banker down in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan it. I thought the Broncos were rich. But he goes rich. The other two, they did well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families here. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. Not Marcelo. Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. For this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? 
No, but it's but not the probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero, killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. Okay, let's take a drive, Max. Want to do some good? Hmm? Want to get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. Probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Cachapre? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Oh, that's a long cutscene. You see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. That's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. That's a good way in. There we go. I don't know what chapter that is now. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. Oh. Alright. Thought he was drinking something like that. It wasn't pretty. But I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Oh, come on, I want some gold gun parts. Well, Max is feeling a bit upset now. Is that bodies? Yep. Some dead bodies. Nope. There's something there. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. It's obviously bodies. When you cowers. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. Oh, and they're not. Can we get in this one? How do we get in this one? The chain doesn't break. That's gay. Oh, come on, I need to take them out. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Doesn't look like it.
Look at this shithole. So you're freaking a rack. That was close. Are you joking? He's not dead yet. Those are gone. What's this? What's this thing? Oh shit, that's a grenade launcher. Whoosh! Send a couple through before I go switch the guns. Haha. Uh -huh. Was that an RPG bit? It was. I've not done many dives in this game, have I? That's why I kind of failed at diving through. I'm a bit lost. Oh shit. Shoot him in the face! There we go. Oof, that was close. Oh god, I didn't mean to use them pain killers. Damn it. Hold on a sec, can I... Speed... The sensitivity on this up a wee bit. Just ramp the sensitivity up a bit. That's a bit better. Shoot him. Oh shit. Right in the face. Was that an RPD? Aha, another gold part. What's this for? Sniper. This is the GS3. Eh, I'm a bit lost. Oh, down here. Oh shit! Did not see them. Them. It is an RPK. You bitch. You got owned. What's down here? Pink hours, here we go. Unsee something, but you can dull the effect. I needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. Oh. Oosh. I know waste. I knew this thing was bigger than me. Bigger than the Broncos. But I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. A bad caricature of a better man. There's an arrow golden RPG bat.
Alright guys, gonna have to wrap it up here. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. Click the button in the right hand corner to subscribe and check out the next episode, the one in the left hand corner if you missed the last one and be sure to check out my PVR giveaway video. So I will see you later.